Uh, top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? You can tell where I'm at maybe by the thing on the thing. I'm just gonna search for Jimmy right now. You guys know Jimmy, right? So I've messed up. I told you guys that, oh my gosh. I'm gonna fall to the floor over here. We gotta get this fixed. I told you that I was going to be going to a reptile show soon. And I think I just saw him pop out behind me. Look, there he is, there he is. He thinks I don't see him. Maybe he knows I see him now. I mean, he is standing back there, he's just waiting. He's waiting, like, what the hell is going on here? Let's walk backwards. I'll walk backwards slowly, pretend like we don't see him, okay? Pretend like you don't see him. And what I did, I messed up. I told you guys that I was going to a reptile show the coming weekend. It's actually not until next weekend. Jimmy, what's the date on the uh, Schomburg reptile? Sorry, uh, Schomburg is the one I'm missing, unfortunately. What's the date of the Roosevelt reptile show? Are you gonna be able to make it? Am I gonna be able to make it? Yeah. Are you gonna be able to make it? I have to, I'll be there. Oh, good. It's Father's Day weekend though. I know that, see, Father's Day weekend, that was a big part of the problem. So I, I thought what we would do right now, we're gonna give our predictions because the show for you guys watching has already happened, still hasn't happened. It hasn't happened yet. We're gonna give our predictions for what's gonna happen at the Roseville show that we're going to. For what? Like predictions as far as what's gonna happen. Like I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go for sure, since you're going, okay? okay? Jimmy's gonna be there 100%, right? I don't know what that means. I'm not sure if I like it. So, brighten up. We're gonna make predictions as what, oh my God. We are going to make predictions as to what is going to happen at the Roseville show. <laughs> Antics, this, that. Jimmy, have you been to the show before? No, it's the first time there at Roseville. First time at Roseville. So we're gonna have to make some predictions here and figure out what's gonna happen. You have any guesses? You're gonna eat. <laughs> gonna eat. Uh, so if you uh, no ropes and or boop snoots or I don't know. I'm pretty sure that if you eat or if I eat, that's not going to be that crucial of a prediction. I don't know what you mean by prediction. A predi you know, do you not know what a prediction is? Yeah. Y yeah, you don't know what a prediction is? I do know what a prediction is. Oh my God, it's so loud in here. Can we go inside? <laughs> Let's go inside the snake room. It's loud in here too. It's always loud. I try to come here to this place with you people. And I try to film stuff and it's always so loud and the light is so obnoxious. It's all right, I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Even though complaining apparently does my channel really good. I should complain more. Um, you drink a Red Bull or something? You're awfully chatty cappy today. No, I did have a bulletproof coffee though. Mm -hmm. It's a bulletproof coffee. You take ghee or fat butter is basically like butter coffee just put butter blended in your coffee and it's like it's the same as what the uh ancient ethiopian tribes used to do which ancient is ancient ethiopians they had butter back then well they had fat that's not butter well it's kind of butter is like a kind of. better <laughs> a more refined fat we should we should say so you take the butter and you blend it into the coffee it's like what they used to do they take the coffee beans and wrap them in fat before they went into battle so they'd be all hype and then the, the fat like... Who are they battling? Other tribes. So a prediction is when you like kind of forecast or theorize or, or just guess at what's going to happen. You just take a good educated guess as, what, as to what's going to happen. And my point is, what's your first prediction? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that eating food is it's like, oh yeah, and guess what else is probably going to happen? The sun's going to come up. We're going to eat some food. Anything like more... More, why am I pointing the camera at you and talking? Anything? <laughs> you guys know what a prediction is. Leave a comment down below if you don't know what a prediction is. Leave a comment down, down below if you think you have your own predictions as far as what is going to happen at the show. I'd love to hear. Me and you there together at a show? Yeah. Wait, wait, let me throw you, let me throw you a bone. Not a bone, but let me throw you a, throw me a, a, a situation. Uh, my father's also coming and my two younger boys. My two boys. No one is. Oh, you're, you're, they're going to have you running circles with your boys. No, I'm going to be at Jimmy's table doing interviews throughout the whole course of Friday. I'm going to go for Friday. Okay. Okay. I'll be there. Thanks. So, prediction. First prediction besides eating food. First prediction besides eating food. Wow, is that how I look? Wow. Is it good? Yeah. Let me do the smolder. Oh, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> prediction? I don't know. Um, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be really good at the show. I think it's going to be really packed. Um, you know, as far as they weekend, so make sure the wives go out there and buy your husbands and boyfriends, uh, baby daddies. Um, 
a snake for me. You heard and him? Cocoa Blocks. And Cocoa Blocks. Snakes? So people are going to buy snakes. People are going to buy Cocoa Blocks. And my son will be there as well, Andrew Bubba. Um, he'll be there doing his little goodies and all that good stuff and spending my money. Driving me nuts. So, this is, okay, so so far we got people are going to buy snakes from Ball Life. People are going to pick up Cocoa Blocks at the Ball Life booth. Your son's going to be the dri- there driving you nuts. These are good predictions. Like, oh, yeah, He's not too bad, but yeah, he'll drive me nuts. He's bougie. He, he's determined to find another restaurant that has Wagyu steak. Here, I got a prediction. I'm going to do a handstand at the show for as long as I possibly can, and I'm going to be about to hit the record for the longest handstand I've ever done in my entire life. I will be filming it. I'll be recording it right in the middle of the show, and right when I'm about to like break that record, Jimmy's going to come over and just... Knock me right over out of my handstand. That's my prediction. Well, that's, that's a given already. <laughs> so, so far, I think we're 100% on what these predictions coming true are. You guys are going to have to keep up on it because I'm going to do an uncut video at the show as well. Doing that thing that I just talked about. We'll eat. We'll sell snakes and cocoa blocks. We'll do handstands and get pushed over. I feel like we need... We need something. We need one more prediction, at least, from each of us. And we need a joke from you. I know you weren't prepared for me. You didn't know I was coming here, but that doesn't matter, Jimmy. You should be ready with jokes. You should just always have a joke in your pocket. Yeah, put both your hand back in your pocket. Yeah, you should always have a joke in there, waiting. Just waiting in anticipation that Brian might just burst through the door of this camera and be like, Jimmy! I need a joke, and I need it now! Why, why don't uh, why don't fish play basketball? Oh damn! Look at that—he's on. He's just ready. Why don't fish play basketball? Let's see, when you dribble in basketball. You shoot hoops, <laughs> free throws. You pass. Fish. <laughs> They're scared of the net. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that actually makes that's logical sense most jokes you know all comedy is based in truth I've known this for a long time I'm sure you know it too but yeah. maybe you don't I don't know okay we still need another prediction and I'm gonna ask you for a second I feel like you were too prepared with that joke like just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> okay I also predict that hmm I've, I see I'm like thinking of these ideas that I can just make happen we gotta predict something that we can, like I can make the handstand happen, I can preface you, tell you that I'm going to get pushed over by you, in which case you can just make it happen, it's like, that's not much of a prediction, because it's like I'm saying I'm gonna do that, like I have the choice to do it. What is something we can predict that we don't really have much control over at the show? Friday. What date is it? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, June 19th, 20th, and 21st. Not what I told you guys in the last video, which was that it's next weekend or whatever I said. <clears throat> Come see us there. I predict that somebody that I know, no, I predict that somebody that I don't know is going, here we go, this is perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with your glove? Why is your glove so pissed off at everybody? This is mad. Look at it. I'd be mad too if I was wrinkly like that. Come on with you. That is the most angry, <laughs> pissed off glove I've ever come across in my life. So, so, so here's my prediction. Somebody that I don't know is gonna come up to me while I'm filming and just jump up in the shot and be like, you don't know me, but you love me. And then just like, you know, I don't know, slap me in the face or give me a hug or just a big old smooch. That's gonna happen while I'm filming. I predict, my I predict someone's gonna, while you're doing the thing, they're gonna just Pinch your butt or something, just to give you a good old, good game. Okay, but we need to make sure that that's like filmed so it can be seen. Or, or I guess I could just make a fake. I could just walk, see, because I, I could just walk by people and just pretend, like walk by you like this and be like, whoa, <laughs> pardon me, that guy just slapped my butt. You know, but then you won't be able to see it. So how are you going to, because I'm going to be filming like this most of the time. Either film like this or looking at snakes. Where's, where's the snake? We need a badass snake before this video is over. Quick, the timer's counting down. The timer's counting down. Quick, sweet, don't think about it too much. Just grab a snake. But make it a good one. Make it a nice one. Make it one that everybody on the channel really, really wants to see. Because that's what we want. It's one of those snakes that you really want to see. You're already taking too long. Oh, my God. Okay, give us yeah, another I joke. I don't know the joke. Not good jokes today.
See? Was this hard? No, it wasn't. You just pull it open, check it out. Look at that. That is a pastel butter. Pastel orange ghost. Possible het orange ghost. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I was thinking orange dream for a second. Did you say like, pas het? It's pas, not pas het. Pas het. You missed Vegas. <laughs> what? Was Ve that? Vegas was a good show. That was fun. I got a little, a little too happy in Vegas. Can you guys imagine Jimmy too happy? Cause I can't. Yeah, apparently I was doing happy dance all through the hotel <laughs> with no shirt on. <laughs> all right, maybe that was a little too happy. <laughs> so pastel, uh, butter, 66% pos head, desert goes, and I'm showing you its belly. You can't really see the part of the snake. So, see, I actually got a super pastel lesser from Freedom Breeder back in the day, and this one's not the super, but you could tell if you added in the super, it's just like, that's a good looking snake right there. That's a fantastic looking snake. Don't, oh, okay, okay. Jimmy, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I'd like to apologize to Jesse in advance for coming and taking you away from your work. He's recording us right there sees us right now he's like what are those guys doing in there he does he does do that too he does that doesn't he, he watches yeah. the camera just waits that's that's jesse's new job just look at the camera to see if anybody else is working like mr burns <laughs> <laughs> release the hounds all right you guys have a great day take care of yourselves take care of each other make sure to tune in for the next cusco one cut do we where we see if we uh actually make all those predictions come true at the roseville reptile show Sacramento, California, on the outskirts of it. June 19th, 20th and 21st, Father's Day weekend. We'll be there on the Friday. Come up, smack my butt, give me a hug, give me a kiss, give me a smooch, oh! <laughs> and aloha. Damn, you got a tight butt. <laughs>